Once you guys got another video, watch this before upgrading to Windows 11. Now a lot of people may have upgraded to Windows 11 to give it a try. Now during the upgrade process, Microsoft will preserve all your programs and applications. And this is your Windows.old where Windows 10 is stored. So you can roll back. Unfortunately, you only get 10 days to roll back to Windows 10. And if you do decide to roll back, you will lose all of your programs and you will have to reinstall all of these. So Microsoft are inconveniencing you just for trying out Windows 11 for a short period. Now to go back, you would obviously hit system and then go down to recovery and click on recovery here. Once you hit recovery, you will see a feature called go back just right here. And if this is grayed out, that means you've gone past the 10 day period to roll back to Windows 10. So what does that mean? Can you actually still go back? To Windows 10 after you've upgraded to Windows 11? And the short answer to that is yes, you can. You will need to back up all of your data and you will need to do a fresh install of Windows. Now, before you roll back, you're going to have to give them a reason here. You can give them a legitimate reason or you can basically just tick something and just click next and it will then give you the option to roll back to Windows 10. Now, bear in mind that. There's always a risk about rolling back and upgrading your machine to a newer operating system. So it's always advisable to back up your data. Microsoft are not responsible for your data. You are. So it's going to go back and basically check for updates. What do you need to know? Uh, this may take a while, as it says here, and you won't be able to use your PC until it's finished. Leave your PC plugged in and turned on. Also, after going back, you will have to reinstall some applications and programs and uh, you will lose any changes that you made to your settings uh, after the upgrade to Windows 11. And basically, are your files backed up? And this is the thing. You might have saved your apps and programs when you upgraded to Windows 11. But if you want to roll back, you're going to lose your apps and programs. This is a massive inconvenience for a lot of people because it means you will have to install all your applications. If you use the password to sign into Windows 10, make sure you know what that is because you'll be locked out unless you know what that password was previously. So once you've done all of this, you can say thanks for trying Windows 11. Now, again, when you've upgraded to Windows 11, you probably had the option to keep your applications and programs. But now when you're rolling back, you're going to lose those applications and programs, so you may as well do a fresh install. It's probably better to back up all of your data on Windows 11 and then just do a fresh install of Windows 10. Another question I get quite a lot is, will my activation still work on Windows 10 if I do a fresh install? And the simple answer to that is yes, it will. If you do a clean install of Windows 10 after you upgraded to Windows 11, you will still get an activated version of Windows. So if you're one of those people that rolled out an upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 to try it out, just be warned that you will only have 10 days to roll back. And if you roll back, you're going to lose your applications and programs, which in my opinion is just not worth trying out Windows 11 if you're not going to stay there. If you're going to stay at Windows 11, then by all means, roll that upgrade to Windows 11 and stay on that operating system. Now, if you're wondering whether you can extend that 10 day period to a longer period like 30 days, you can. And I made a video showing you how to extend that 10 day period to a 30 day period using a couple of simple commands in command prompt. So check out that video on my channel. So now you can see we've rolled back to at Windows 10 and you can see here the application doesn't work and that's because Microsoft have conveniently removed all your applications even though they allowed you to keep your applications and programs during the upgrade process of Windows 10 to Windows 11 but rolling back they've decided in their infinite wisdom that they want to inconvenience you by removing them during the rollback process as you can see here when you go into this PC the windows.old folder will be now removed and you are now back to the original state that you started off, i.e. without your programs. So pretty much you're going to go ahead and have to download all those and set them all up again. 
Anyway, that's how you can uninstall Windows 11 after upgrading from Windows 10. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.